So you're looking to pair a full-bodied red wine with a cheese. This combination can be amazing, but pick the wrong cheese. And you can kiss your palate goodbye. We'll tell you why. But first, let's talk about the state of cheese. I'm Elena. I'm a cheese professional with Wisconsin roots. Cheese is my life. And I'm Alex, chef from Paris searching for the most amazing ingredients in the world. We are cheese lovers. No. And we want to help you discover your next favorite cheese. You know, it's easy to make mistakes when pairing red wine with cheese. But if you love a good challenge, the reward can be worth the risk. This is all about finding combinations that create a third, completely new flavor that doesn't exist in the wine or the cheese alone. In the pairing world, we call this the holy grail. It's not easy. The first step is making sure you match the level of intensity in the pairing. Let's start with a light-bodied Pinot Noir. I love this wine. It's a light-bodied red, you know, with subtle flavors, a mild fruitiness to it. And we're pairing it with Widmer's Brick Cheese, a washed rind, kind of stinky cheese. Here I'm going for a contrast between the funkier aromatics of the cheese and that bright, fruity, little dusty aroma of the wine. What you want to keep in mind when pairing Pinot Noir with cheese is don't overwhelm the wine. Play up the aromatics in both the cheese and the wine. Let them each express themselves. It makes sense. Next pairing is a beautiful medium-bodied Syrah from the south of France. Mm. You get the fruits, but you also get some spice in this wine. Mm. And we're pairing the Syrah with Deppler's Aged Swiss. Syrah has such a depth of flavor, you want to make sure that the cheese is also bold and stands on its own. I mean, it just works. Absolutely. Mm, I like this. Some <laughs> cheese on your nose. <laughs> Let's do it again. There's a lot of cheese on his nose. And last pairing is this beautiful and powerful Malbec from Argentina. Mm. Lots of fruit, lots of sun, lots of ripe flavors in this wine. And we're pairing the Malbec with Dunbarton Blue by Chris Raleigh. This is both a cheddar and it's a blue cheese. I know it's very unusual to have this type of cheese, right? It's really a Wisconsin original, and to me, it's exactly what you want with a huge red wine like a Malbec. You can tell this combination works. Well, Alex, I have a surprise pairing for you. Go ahead and try this with the wine. Mm -hmm. It's a fresh cheese. Ow! Oh, ça marche pas du tout. It doesn't work at all. I've got this metally and almost chalky aftertaste. And that's why, with reds especially, you have to match those levels of intensity. Looking for your next favorite cheese? Mm. You'll find it in Wisconsin. If you're craving more cheese knowledge, watch the rest of the State of Cheese video series.